What's up guys, it's Josh back with another video and today I wanted to show you guys System 76's Pop OS. So as I stated in the intro of the video, I wanted to show you guys Pop OS. This is another Linux distribution that I think is super awesome for new users that are trying to learn the Linux operating system. And Pop OS has been around for a, a while now. It's a Ubuntu based distribution and it was produced by a company called System76, which they actually sell Linux laptops, desktops, as well as servers. And it's an awesome company and I've reviewed their distribution a while back. It's actually been like a couple years since I last looked at it and I wanted to check it out because like I stated, it's based on Ubuntu. Uh, so the latest version of Ubuntu has released, which was 22.04 earlier this year. And Pop! OS, you know, has that latest version as well that it released out to the public. So I wanted to check it out, do a quick install as well as go through a quick review of the desktop environment and just check out the system just to show you guys or anyone that's interested in a linux distribution that's super simple to use just wanted to go on and show you guys how to play around with it and navigate through the actual operating system so let's get started before we move forward, I wanted to give a quick shout out to CIQ, the official partner of Rocky Linux. Rocky Linux is a Linux distribution that is intended to be a downstream complete binary compatible release using the Red Hat Enterprise Linux operating system source code. The project is led by Gregory Kurtzer, who was the founder of the CentOS project. So check out Rocky Linux at CIQ.co. All right. So the first thing I wanted to do was show you guys System 76's um, website, and this is where you can get Pop OS. And the link will be in the description of the video is pop.system76.com. And like I stated, System 76, they sell laptops, desktops, servers. You know, they also have one of those mini PCs similar to the, the Mac Mini. You know, it's super cool. But the cool part about System 76 is that they design their systems, you know, to run the Linux operating system. And when you purchase a laptop from them, they ship it out with your choice of Linux distribution. I think it's two choices currently, uh, Ubuntu as well as Pop! OS. And so I wanted to at least show you guys the website. This is where you can actually get it. All you have to do is hit download because you can download, you know, Pop! OS on any, you know, hardware. It'll work on pretty much any hardware. It's similar to Ubuntu and you shouldn't have no problem with modern software or modern hardware running Pop! OS. Now, just to read a little bit on the welcome page, but it says, uh, welcome to Pop! OS. Pop! OS is an operating system for STEM and creative professionals who use their computers as a tool to discover and create, unleash your potential on secure, reliable, open source software. Based on your exceptional curiosity, we sense you have a lot of. And like I said, all you gotta do is hit this download button. That'll take you to the download page uh, and it'll pop up. You, you basically have three options. You can download the regular version. They have an NVIDIA version, which it comes with the NVIDIA drivers and all that stuff. And then there's also a uh, Raspberry Pi version that you can download as well. And then here are the recommendations, uh, just so you guys will know, but it needs at least four gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of storage, 64 bit processor, you know, USB 3.0, you know, for the Raspberry Pi 4, uh, file size, uh, that's the size of the actual ISO. Um, this is the regular one, so 2.81 gigabytes, 3.3 uh, .3 for the NVIDIA um version and then 2.23 for the raspberry pi version and then you got your uh sha 256 uh some you can check your your iso based on that uh just to verify that you have the copy so let's go down and hop over to my virtual machine so we can get pop os installed all right so i'm booted up into the live iso the first thing that'll pop up is the installer now i have the display settings uh up 
because I was trying to fix the screen. But the first thing, like I said, it'll pop up with the installer. It'll log into the live ISO. You can go through, play around with the system all you want. You know what I'm saying? Um, in the live ISO, or you can go right into the installer. So uh, first thing you wanna do is to select your English or your language. Uh, right here, this is popping up because of the system updates. So it may have some system updates. I'm gonna just close it. Uh, we're gonna run the installer just like this or whatever. So just hit select. We have uh, English selected and then United States selected for me. Uh, English UK for my keyboard layout, select and default for input language which is english us so uh just select based on you know whatever country you in so let's hit select uh now you can do a clean install and let's move this up a little bit so you guys can see but there's a clean install and there's a custom advanced install so this is where you can go in and partition your drives however you want to you know set up your system you know 100 percent the way you want to uh, or you can hit the clean install and it'll just install everything it'll erase the drives create the partitions for you go through and do pretty much everything with the install now there is a try demo mode that'll bring up the demo mode uh, but let's just go on and select that clean install and hit clean install and it'll go through the process I'll be back when this actually finishes it doesn't take too long especially since I'm running on a virtual machine uh and actually i have to select my drive i forgot um and it wants to at least verify that you want to overwrite this uh drive so let's hit that and then we should um create the account i forgot about this uh, as well as my username uh and then our password so just type a, a super strong password in there and boom Make sure you type it in twice the same way, hit next. And it automatically selects for encryption. It automatically selects to encrypt using the same username account. So just hit encrypt right there. You get to go. You'll go through partition and drive and you'll be good to go. And I'll be back when this actually finishes. All right, so we are done with the install. And as you can see, it says restore device or shut down. You can do either or. So let's go down and restart the device and then we can boot back up. I'll fix the display again and then we can uh, show you guys the desktop. All right, and so the first thing that'll pop up is uh, once it reboots is to decrypt the hard drive. And so you have to type in your password and it uses that exact same password that you use to set up the account. So all you gotta do is type that in, boom press enter that'll unlock the hard drive and now it will actually boot up the operating system so the next thing we'll be greeted with is the login screen all right so we can just click on our account type in our password again boom and press enter and i'll fix the display so just give me one second all right so the first thing that'll pop up is basically a welcome screen and it'll go through and uh configure your system you know based on the way you like it now um i like the dock um uh, that doesn't extend all the way to the edge so i'm gonna click that uh but you can select it however you want to you can have no dock uh you can do the dock extended to the edge which is the default and then the dock that doesn't extend to the edge which is what i'm gonna use so i'm gonna hit next on that and then configure the top board so you can modify the top board show workspace button which that's there by default as well as the application button by default and then the time in the center so you can put it you know to either side or the center the center looks the best so i'm gonna leave it that way let's hit next now uh open and switch applications from the launcher so uh this is just basically showing you that you can do that so you just press the super key which i'm not gonna press uh because <laughs> a lot of times uh since i'm running this on my linux system sometimes when i'm messing with virtual machines it'll you know run whatever command will use the super key on my main system you know what i'm saying so i won't be able to use that or show you guys that but you can open and switch applications from the launcher so that's dope that that's there and then also you can use the gestures uh and that's you know in ubuntu as well uh but this is mainly if you have a touch screen you know what i'm saying so let's hit next there now this is showing you guys the um 
the style so to speak you can have that dark theme or the light theme which most people prefer the dark theme i'm gonna leave it on the dark theme but you do have both of those options so let's hit next now they do have a privacy section this is the location services you can turn that on or leave it off by default it's cool that it comes with it turned off uh you know what i'm saying so let's go down here next there and then you can specify your time zone which let's go down and put um pacific and all you gotta do is type it and let's see it should as you type you should be able to find it pacific standard or actually let's just type in los angeles because i know that will actually bring it up so there we go los angeles california boom that's specific standard time so uh let's go down here next so you just select whatever time zone or just type it in and it should find it you know what i'm saying it's, it actually says search by city i was thinking you just type pacific standard time but just search by city uh so let's hit next there now online services this is you know something that they having pretty much all the ones with uh the gnome desktop but you can connect to all your online services so you got google nextcloud microsoft uh flickr four square square uh microsoft exchange which i think is super dope uh it's actually you know you can connect to your to your work email or something if you if you need if you can you know what i'm saying if they allow you to uh on this on your computer uh last.fm imap smtp and enterprise log in kerberos so you can log into a active directory domain uh which is super cool so let's just skip that for right now but start using pop os we are all done so let's go down click uh start and right now it still has the display settings up because i was messing around with it trying to fix the screen so you guys can see it but as you can see super clean desktop you know what i'm saying i really like that background it's dope uh purple is is super cool but let's see what else we got up in here that comes with it because it looks like they have some cool you know background so um I like that one right there that looks good with the contrast of my image in obs while i'm recording so that's super dope I, i'll leave it there but this is dope you know what i'm saying let's hit the workspace so you have all your different workspaces uh so if you got different that it's basically like the different desktops you can have so it's super dope you can open up i don't know an application on here and we can look at what version of firefox that comes on it when we installed it and just so you guys know i downloaded uh this iso today so this is a whatever release they have you know it's the newest release uh but i just want to show you guys you can go to different workspaces right there boom uh we can open up something right there on that workspace and we can jump back and forth between them and it automatically creates a new one once you have some stuff open already so let's go back over here to the first workstation or workspace and let's see what version of firefox that we have so let's go to help um and then about firefox and we have 103 so that's cool it's cool cool let's go down and uh close this out uh, and let's go back to the terminal workspace uh, and let's see if we have uh, NeoFetch on it. Uh, just want to see if we got it. Nah, we don't. So let's go down and uh, install it. So sudo apps updates. Boom. And type uh, our password in sudo password. So that works. You know what I'm saying? That lets you know that that works. Um, and then let's just uh, skip the upgrades right now. And let's go ahead on and uh, install NeoFetch because that'll get a lot of our, you know, information I want to show you guys, you know, from the command line. And you guys know I like the command line. So that's typically what I use <laughs> is the command line. You can easily find out this same information under your settings. Uh, just going back under, let's see, about. Uh, and that'll give us pretty much the same information I was going to get from uh neo fetch but um this is dealing with the hardware so we got our uh memory processor you know all that good stuff uh graphics uh disk capacity os name um known version so it comes with 42.2 uh yeah and kvm because it's a virtual machine let's go on and close this right fast i thought this would have been done but i'll be back when it actually finishes with neo fetch all right so let's run neofetch now let's see if it'll 
hope it'll work. Uh, press enter. Boom. There we go. Pop OS. Uh, and really what I was looking for, which I could have ran a uname or something uh, to pull in the kernel version, but it comes with 5.19. So good to go. Um, desktop environment is known 42, like we said earlier, uh, but the window manager is mutter. Uh, window manager theme is pop they have their own you know theme window manager theme uh, the theme is pop dork so they have their own themes and you can install these themes on other distributions you can put it on you know you bind to if you want to uh, you just have to find it and download and install it you know what I'm saying so uh, let's go down and close this uh, but that's pretty much all I wanted to show you guys there. But let's go back into these settings because I want to, I don't know, kind of just show you guys or give you guys a, a idea of how to actually use it. So you got your network settings, you got your Bluetooth settings, uh, and I'll click on some of it. But you can set up VPNs, you know, proxy, you know, all that good stuff under here. And this is essentially GNOME, man. If you've used GNOME, you can figure this out. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty much the same. Um, but I just kind of wanted to, for people that have never used it, then this is essentially where you can go in and set everything. Like all those settings that we set in the beginning, you can go here and make those changes, you know, after the fact. Because once you log into it, it's not going to show that stored up page anymore, you know, after that. But uh, your background, you know, appearance, the, how I went into background, you know, and this is your dock, all your dock settings that we made, you know, in the stored up that's where i made you can make those changes you know what i'm saying i won't go through everything but yeah i won't really go through everything but got your desktop yeah i just looked at that but applications privacy you know your online accounts if you ever want to go in and set one of these up all you gotta do is go into your settings you know what i'm saying uh printer settings are under here keyboard display power settings uh removable media color firmware uh users so if you want to add a new user um, or make changes to your current user uh, then you can do it there uh, pretty much everything any and everything you want to do on this system you know what I'm saying you can do it from the settings now let's look at the applications that are on here so all I did was hit the show applications that'll bring up this page right here where you can look at all the applications that come on here so calculator uh, and this is under the home I'm not sure if it's segmented off yeah it is it is segmented off so under the home you know you got your basic utilities you got your terminal weather text editor the pop shop where you can go install stuff and i'll show you guys that in a second uh calculator calendar contacts files you know all the all the basic utilities that most people would need now under office you got your office so it's cool that they have libre office and then you got your system this shows all your system applications so uh advanced network configuration this usage analysis uh, uh analyzer and then this you know language uh support password and keys you know that's stored in there uh power statistics uh startup applications so if you want something to start up as soon as you boot into this or log into the system it'll you know start up that application uh and system monitoring and which that's cool to actually see you can check that out you can check out your processes your res resources as well as the file system so awesome that they have that it's kind of like that task manager or yeah the task manager on windows you know what i'm saying where you can see everything that's going on in your system you can kill processes and all that stuff now here are some more utilities like base level utilities so you got your archive manager document scanner document viewer eddy extensions fonts help you know all that stuff video player uh the launcher this is just in uh, how to get to certain things image viewer USB flasher and then you can create another folder and you can organize this stuff You know how you see fit you can create another folder with a new another name and you can put certain things in those folders or whatever Just to kind of organize everything now Let's go down and close that because one thing I wanted to show you guys Let's go down and close it, but I wanted to show you guys uh, the pop shop right fast so essentially the application, you know 
manager you can install all your applications here you know what i'm saying you can search for all applications and get them installed directly from here or you can install them from the command line like i typically do uh if you go under install that'll show you what needs to be updated it looks like it's 30 components uh with updates so you can update those now or hit update all it's kind of like an app store that's all it is an app store uh and i'll run that in the background but i'm gonna just hit update all uh, and it's probably going to ask me for my password in a second. Uh, but that's where you can go through and do your updates as well. Or you can run sudo app update, sudo app upgrade. And that will update your packages as well. And as you can see, it didn't take too long, at least for that first one. And then they got some operating system updates uh, that will, you know, get installed in a second. But just so you guys know, uh, you know how I showed you guys, you could look at your workspaces here. Well, you can do it from the actual dock at the bottom so show workspaces just click it that'll open it up as well now the show launcher that'll open up that launcher that uh i was talking about where you had to hit the super key uh that'll open that up for you guys so minimize i just want to show you again there you go and let's say you want to type something in and open it up you know what i'm saying that'll that's good now i hope you guys enjoyed the video that's pop os you know what i'm saying definitely check it out if you're interested in you know switching or trying out a new linux distribution or if this is your first time using linux and you know ever then pop os is a good choice it's a very simple operating system to use it's not that difficult to use uh if you've heard of ubuntu and let's say you you know want to try something a little bit different from ubuntu then check out pop os because it's you know it's an awesome distribution as well and like i said it's based on ubuntu so it's essentially the exact same thing it's just pop os has put their spin on ubuntu at the end of the day that's essentially and this is the operating system that comes pre-installed on their laptops servers and all that stuff that they have that they send out i'm sure well i'm sure you could pick something else on the servers but the desktops that's mainly what i'm what i meant but hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe to the channel uh, if you have any questions leave comments down in the comments below and of course keep it techie